Welcome to Blackboard. This video will introduce you to how to navigate Blackboard and some of the important features. First, we have our institution page. Here you can see some quick links to around the university, like to the library or the learning center. Next, we have your profile page. This page has your basic information like your name, GID, and Grantham email. If you'd like, you can even add more information like your birthday or a picture. This is also where we can adjust our notification settings. To do so, click on one of the notifications in the System Settings area. This will open a small menu on the right hand side of your page. Here we can determine what notifications we'd like to see in our activity stream via email or through push notifications if you've downloaded the Blackboard app. For example, let's go ahead and set up our email notifications to send an email right away when new grades come out, as well as for upcoming due dates and past due items. Then in the push settings, let's set it up so we're notified when grades come out and reminders for due dates. We can even customize how many days in advance we'd like a reminder. Let's go ahead and change it to three days in advance so we have plenty of time to get our work done before the due date. Now that we're done with making our selections, we'll go ahead and press the Save button. This will take us back to the main profile page. Our next tab is the Activity Stream. There are four different categories of notifications. Important, Coming Up, Today, and Recent. These notifications are very useful because they can help you keep track of instructor announcements, added content to organizations and courses, as well as your due dates for coursework. One thing to keep an eye out for in the activity stream are important notifications. These notifications can actually alert you if you're late on submitting coursework, so be sure to check this tab routinely. The next tab is our courses. Here we can see the courses that we're currently enrolled in. Depending on your preference, you can view your courses in list mode or as icons. To hop inside a course, just select the class you want and it will open up. Then to exit the course, we can just click the X here in the upper left hand corner. Now let's move on to the next tab, Organizations. This is where the different centers live such as the Learning Center or the Writing Center. Next we have our calendar. We have the option to look at it by day or month view. This is a handy tool because it will automatically pull the due dates for your coursework into this calendar. You can easily set up your schedule through here by adding events through the plus sign at the top right hand side of the page. But if you'd just like to add this calendar into say your Gmail calendar, you can easily do so by clicking the gear icon selecting the three dots at the top of the menu, and click Share Calendar. This will give you a calendar link. You'll just copy that and go to your other calendar and add it. For this example, we'll just add it to our Grantham Gmail account. Once you're inside the Google Calendar for your Grantham account, we'll just click the gear icon at the top of the page towards the right hand side, and then click Settings. On the left, there's an option to add calendar. Select this option and then click the From URL option. This will give us a new page where we can paste the link and add the Blackboard calendar. Now the last tab we'll go over here is the Grades tab. This is an easy and quick way to check your grades without going into the actual course. If you have any questions about Blackboard and how it's laid out, be sure to reach out to your student advisor. Created using Powtoon.